Okay, good morning. I'm getting ready to drill the hole for my my toilet and it has to go has to go through the floor. I just did my vent pipe. You can see see the little thing down there. It's actually all right. Uh, got my my vent pipe in for my black water tank and I'm getting ready to drill my uh, three inch hole for my uh, toilet to go down and uh, what I'm doing now is figuring where the center of the space I have available right there's the mark for the end of the uh, um, the shower enclosure so from that mark to the wall which is right there minus a half inch because there'll be a half inch on that wall so it looks like I've got 27 inches 27 inches to work with so in your brain you can figure what's half of 27 and 13 and a half would be to the center and then 15 inches off the back wall so 13 and a half and 15 boom there's your center mark drill the hole I'll be back okay in case anyone's interested in how you find the center of something well here's what I'm looking for I'm looking for 14 inches off that wall which at the end of the day at the end of the day will become 13 and a half because on that wall will be a half inch of finished you know a quarter inch uh, luan and a quarter inch of uh, uh, tongue and groove so that's a half an inch so Basically, we come to 14. And now, I want to be... I want to be 15 and a half off of the sidewall there. And the reason for 15 and a half is because there will be a half inch of finish on the walls. So, I've got a, uh, I've got a square. It's a big one and it comes over and I've got it lined up at 15 and a half. Okay, I'll move it over just a little bit. Okay, so where those two intersect, down at the bottom there, if you can see it, I'm going to make a mark. Right there's my mark, and so what I'm going to do is X marks the spot, okay? And that's where my whole salt drill bit will go right in the center of that. Let me go put that together, and I'll come back and show you when you drill in the hole. Okay, I've got the, uh, I've got the hole marked, and I'm getting ready to change out the, uh, hole saw. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but here's my pipe. It's three inch inside diameter and the outside diameter is about three and, I don't know, why don't we say three and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be utilizing a three and five eighths hole saw. And that will allow my pipe to slip down through the bottom and be fairly tight, you know, in the in the hole. And of course, we'll seal around it. But that's why I'm gonna change out this uh, uh, the one I use for here with this one.
spin that on there. You line up the holes. It's uh, <coughs> it's spring loaded, and you got the locking nut and uh, snug it, and you're ready to go. Okay. Just putting that there to see if you can see me drilling. And I think you can, but uh, I don't know. Okay, I'll try to I'll try to stay out of the way. All right. Um, now this is three quarter inch or maybe five eighths plywood that I'm drilling through. So I'll drill through that. I'll pull out my wood plug, and then I'll show you the aluminum underneath. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so you put that on your right in the center of your X, and a little turn. Actually, this one I want to be like super, super accurate. So what I want to do is drill a guide hole for the guide hole and uh, I got some, I'll just pull this, I'm gonna pull this screw out. pull that screw out and I'm going to use it to to start my center hole okay so there's my hole screw back in. <laughs> Alright, put that out of the way. Okay, now now I've got a pilot hole for my 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 hole saw. Let's just take a look. That looks really good. Alright. Put that back in that hole. Wherever it is. And of course I can't see. Go kind of slow. cut all the way through okay that is my hole and I wanted you guys to see that there is aluminum underneath of this plywood on the floor of the uh, of the uh, all aluminum trailer um, when we start doing stuff underneath like mounting the tanks and everything you're gonna get a real bird's eye view of, of just how beautiful it is under there so every time I I do something you know drill through one of these it breaks my heart <laughs> all right let me pop out that uh, that aluminum let's see if I can son of a gun there's son of a gun piece of aluminum here's the piece of wood I will drop it down there you go now let's take our pipe and stick it in there and you see what we got 
That's a beautiful thing, man. That's a beautiful thing. Now I have a, um, I have a cap that I bought because I didn't want it to. Shall I hook up the plumbing underneath? Let's see, where's that thing at? I guess it's, is it in there? Nope. Is it in here? Nope. Where is that cap? Okay. Another box of plumbing stuff somewhere, maybe. Hmm. Oh, I like the rule. Where is it? Maybe it's, I don't know. Oh, well, I don't need it. Um, what I'll use is, uh, I just don't want it to fall down through the ground. But uh, I was looking for a piece of three quarter inch, but it doesn't matter. I'll use something that I got handy here. Um, grab a piece of this. Grab a piece of this right here. It's only half inch. <clears throat> the floor. Oh, here we go. There we go. I found a piece of three quarter inch. Just want to show you how the, uh, the flange. I don't know where I can stick that. Maybe. Well, maybe you can, I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna stick this on here, shove it down the hole, and you can see that it will, uh, it's gonna rest, you know, on the plywood like that. So, there you go. There's your toilet. And when you poop, you just poop right down on the ground. No, I'm kidding. There's the uh, the tanks under there. It's just pushed back because I didn't want to. I didn't want to nick it or drop anything on it. So there you have it, my friends. Looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna clean that up and uh, move on to the next thing. Talk to you. Okay. Here. Good morning again. Okay. Just drill the hole for the, the toilet, the vents done, the shower drain is done, stubbed in, ready to go. And now I'm starting the, uh, now I'm starting the main water line. That little run right there is inside of a, inside of a pipe um, for no reason other than I just felt like doing it. Um, but this blue will run to here and then continue on and go over to the hot water tank. But since it's cold water, I'm just going to tee it right there to supply my shower and my vanity. And I may even run it on over to my cold connection on my kitchen sink. So stay tuned. Okay. I don't know if anybody's any of you have ever done any pecs, but I'm doing the uh, I'm doing the crimp type, and the way you do it is you you just slip that over the thing, push your your fitting in. Woo! Tell you what, I'm gonna trim that sucker off a little bit just because it's annoying me.
what I did was I trimmed it off and let's see if that there we go. Okay. So I'm not gonna crimp these yet until I've cut all my pieces and made all my connections and then we'll we'll crimp those. So now that's my supply line coming from my utility room with a water source. It's gonna come down crossed here and it's gonna I'm gonna have to 45 it right there and come through that hole all right I'll be back okay getting the framing done around the front door then I'll do that corner got most of the hot and cold lines in the floor all the drains and everything looking good all right I'll check back with you